The often slow wheels of justice begin to turn today in the investigation into the shooting death of Lubbock's Chad Reed. And it is good to see you all again. I'm Brian Mudd. I'm Lauren Motter. Today, a grand jury hearing evidence in the case nearly five months after Reed was killed. KMAX Ryan Chandler joins us live from the courthouse with more tonight. Well, ever since Kyle Carruth fatally shot Chad Reed on November 5th, we have all seen that video that sparked nationwide controversy, and Chad Reed's family has since filed multiple lawsuits against Kyle Carruth for what they call the unwarranted murder of their husband and father. For five months, the Attorney General's office has been silent on the status of their investigation, but today we learn for the first time of what Chad's widow Jennifer calls the first step towards justice. The state made their case today to a grand jury who will soon decide whether the evidence is there to bring Carruth to a criminal trial. Now, this is a very sensitive process. No information regarding the grand jury proceedings will be released to the public. There will be no reporters or cameras allowed inside those closed doors, and we will not know the full extent of who testifies or what they testify about. We do know that Jennifer Reed was here at the courthouse today delivering her testimony to the jurors and her family tells us they do not expect a decision today. It may be as much as two weeks before the jury hands down a decision on whether to indict Kyle Carruth. That's very unusual for Lubbock grand jury hearings. They often hear many separate cases per day. The nature of this case is, of course, very different. The Reed family says they're only hearing this case for the entirety of that time frame. Now, to be clear, the grand jury's decision, even if they do choose to indict Carruth on criminal charges, is not a judgment of guilt. If he is indicted, he may then go to a separate trial with a separate jury, uh, possibly outside of Lubbock County at a later date. Now, on the civil side of things, we've also spoken to both of the Reed family's civil attorneys, Tony Busby and Matthew Harris. They tell us they also do not have uh, many updates on the status of the civil proceedings.